Hey everyone, it's me Magic Martin and welcome back to another Magic Martin story time. Today's book is Smiley Shark by Ruth Galloway. It's another one of our favourites. We hope you enjoy it. Are you sitting comfortably? Are you ready? Very colourful book this one. Far away, in the deep rolling ocean, lived a smiley shark. The smiliest and sunniest, and friendliest and funniest. The biggest and toothiest of all the fish. Bitty. Every day, Smiley Shark watched the beautiful fish that dipped and dived, and jiggled and jived, and darted and dashed with a splosh and a splash. Smiley Shark longed to dip and dive with them, but whenever he smiled at them, they all swam away. Will you play with me? He asked Angel Fish. She doesn't seem very happy. Angel Fish shivered and shook, then raced away as fast as she could swim. Swoosh! gone. Pufferfish was blowing bubbles. That looks fun, laughed Smiley Shark. But Pufferfish blew himself up into a big spiky ball and pricked poor Smiley Shark on the nose. Ow! He's got a red nose now. Starfish was twirling and whirling. Dancing and prancing. Oh, what fun! Giggled Smiley Shark. But Starfish cartwheeled away across the ocean floor as quick as she could go. Smiley Shark flashed his teeth at jellyfish and octopus and catfish. Off they swam as far from Smiley Shark as they could get. Everyone is scared of my big white teeth, wailed Smiley Shark. He didn't feel much like smiling anymore. Splish, splash, twisting and turning, splashing and churning. The fish danced faster than ever. Smiley Shark watched from a distance, but something was wrong. The fish were swimming towards a trap. Help! Help! cried the fish. Please help us, Smiley Shark! Smiley Shark swam round and round the fisherman's net. What could he do? How could he help? The only thing Smiley Shark could do was... Do you know what he's going to do? Smile! Ah! Screamed the fisherman, dropping his heavy net into the waves. I'm off, he cried. Hurrah! Cheered the fish. We're safe. Thank you, Smiley Shark. They're all happy now. Now far away in the deep rolling ocean, Smiley Shark and his friends can be seen dipping and diving, darting and dashing, sploshing and splashing, and smiling. They're all smiling now. The end. Can you show me your biggest smile? I'm not sure I can get any bigger than that. That was Smiley Shark by Ruth Galloway. I hope you enjoyed it. Time for a quick magic trick before we say goodbye. Now, in our book today, we saw some colourful characters, didn't we? Uh, can you remember what colour the octopus was? Yes, that's right. The octopus was purple, wasn't it? Look. And we have a purple handkerchief we can use for our magic trick. Oh, we've got a red one too. Anybody guess what the red was from? 
You're right, the starfish. <gasps> the yellow, that was part of the angelfish. And way, look, we've got some green for our seaweed also. So if we're going to use these colours for a magic trick, we're also going to need a magical wand. Now I have some magic words, and if we say them, we might be able to make the magic wand appear. Abra, Kadabra. Look, a magic wand. We need the magic wand, some magic hankies, and also a bag. But is it a magic bag? We'll find out. So we're going to put the hankies inside the bag, just like this. We're going to say the magic words, Abra, Kadabra, wave our wand around, and hopefully we're going to do something magical with our hankies. We're going to make them completely and utterly vanish. Ooh, whoa! <laughs> we did it! Now the hardest part is to make them come back again. Are you ready? Abra, Kadabra. You're right! Oh, wow, we did it! They're all back again. Look at this! You don't think that was magic? Trust me, it was magic. Watch. We made them come back, but we made them all magically fuse together. Well, I hope you enjoyed that magic trick, and here's a quick joke for you just before we go. Do you know why the lobster got all embarrassed? <laughs> because the seaweed. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hey, from me, Magic Martin, it's been lovely reading another story to you and doing a little bit of magic and telling a couple of jokes. I'll see you again soon for another Magic Martin's story time. Bye bye for now.